So this is the uh, drill core from the winter 2013 program. We select representative samples uh, every five meters in barren rock. And uh, when we get into mineralization, we sample continuously half meter intervals throughout that mineralized section. So this is hole 53. There's 50 odd meters of about 6% uranium. It's uh, basically an intersection in this hole that was something that geologists dream about. What I'm holding right here is just massive pitch blend. In the high grade interval within that 50 meters, we saw half meter intervals that ran up to 45% uranium. As we're coming into the main high grade core, you can see it's strongly bleached and clay altered. There's also a bit of a light green tinge to it. That's pseudoite, which is a form of chlorite that's almost always actually associated with high grade uranium mineralization in the Athabasca Basin. The field geologists were calling it demon core. It actually says it right here on the box. What was happening is the core was degassing when it got brought back to the core shacks and you put water on it so you can see the minerals better and so you could log it better. Um, like water was kind of bubbling and, and hissing uh, on contact with the core. So that's, uh, that's how it got the demon core name. Right now we're headed out of the Big Bear camp uh, and we're going to start heading south down Provincial Highway 955. It's about a uh, 20-25 minute uh, trip to uh, the PLS property. This highway was put in to service the Clough Lake mines. There's been hundreds of geologists that have come up this road on their way to Clough Lake and to look for mineralization further to the north since the 1960s. It's pretty unreal that they've all driven past the Patterson Lake project, unaware that two kilometers off the highway, you've basically got three mineralized zones and who knows what else. We'll see after this summer program. So this is the new core land facility that we've constructed that's on the actual property of Patterson Lake South. The helicopter will bring in the drill core from Patterson Lake, drop it off. The geologist and uh, his assistant will bring it into the core logging shack We'll geotech it, log it, uh, geologists will identify which intervals are to be sampled. It'll be then transferred to the core splitting tent where it'll get sampled and then into those racks that you see in the background. We're following the PL3B conductor on this road down to Patterson Lake towards the discovery hole. We follow this trend right into the water uh, about 780 meters to zone R780 east and uh, we'll basically be using four barges to do our work this summer on the lake. The RC drillers are basically putting together their new Atticus drill that will be used to pre-case holes that the diamond drills will be setting up on. We've got one of the core rigs right there, um, and then the uh, second core rig is on land waiting for a, a larger barge to arrive at the property. The idea is that we might get into some new zones that are in between the, the known zones that we have. So further expansion uh, and drilling of those zones um, would be required in the winter so that we can uh, you know, work towards uh, getting more pounds to put in a resource.